Hello and welcome, welcome back to um, Drawing Graphics, 70s Graphics with a Turtle. So, next we're going to change colours. Again, I guess most of you would have worked out that you can change the colour of the line. Rather than setting it to a particular colour, although you could, you could say um, Graphics Window Pen Colour equals, you know, one of the colours that you can use. I think there's about eight of them. And this is using the command to set it as a random colour and it's putting it inside a loop. So for I equals 1 to 4, pick a random colour for the pen colour, move it 100, turn right and end the loop. So four times it's going to pick a random colour, it's going to move it 100, it's going to turn right. So um, you can probably guess what this is going to be but let's pop it over into the compiler and have a look. And as you see it's picked a colour, move forward, picked a colour, move forward, and there's a turn in here of course, pick to colour, move forward. So here's what I'm going to do for my variation on this. I'm going to say, rather than just going round four times, I'm actually going to go round mm, x times. So x equals maths dot get random number. Um, and a number between 1 and 10 and y can equal, and you'll see what I'm doing here in a minute, um, maths, math dot get, and the good thing about this automatically completing itself is that I don't have to worry um, about whether I'm typing the right thing. I might put in the wrong command, but I'm not going to be tr um, tripped up as often by typos. So this time, for i equals 1 to 4, well instead of 1 to 4, it's going to be 1 to x. So it's going to be a random number between 1 and 10, about how many times it draws a line. And how long that line is going to be is going to be a random number from 1 to 200. So we're not going to get a square this time. We're still going to be changing colours, but we're not going to get a square. Let's see if it works. Okay, good. My word, it's actually looking quite a lot like a square. Oh, and it just stopped, so obviously the random number was 2. OK, let's run it again. I was hoping for something a little bit more visibly... Sp See, that was good. That's a very small... Oh, 3. My word, it's hard to get an interesting result here. Let's have a look. Up. Turn. Turn. Gee, that is looking very much like a square, isn't it? No, there's something funny about this. Oh, I know what it is. It's picking the random number only once. That's why it's always a square. So let's have a look at it. Let's get the random number for how long it is, and let's drop that into the loop. Because it's only doing it once at the start of the program. That's why we kept getting squares. So, there we go. So, y is x is staying the same to set how many times the loop runs, um, but y is going to get generated every time. And let's give it a top number of 15 this time. So let's see, we should get something other than squares this time. Ah, there we go. There, that seemed a bit too convenient that last time we were just getting squares. Ah, there you go. Now we're, now we're talking. This is much more what I expected. So there you go. There's my program, my variation on this, and I look forward to seeing yours.